Hello. In this video, we're going to be talk talking about math vocabulary. Now, math is obviously most of the time about computation and knowing equations, but there are a good, a fair amount of vocabulary that, terms that you need to be familiar with in, in order to succeed on math questions. So I want to walk you through some of the most prominent uh, math vocabulary terms in this video. The first term is integer. Tests will use integer all the time. Integers are simple. They're just numbers that don't have decimals or fractions. So 1, negative 3, 0, these are all integers. But 1.5 is not an integer, and 1.33 is not an integer. And 1 half is not an integer. Digits is a simple term used to describe how many numbers you see. So 135 is a three-digit number. Prime numbers. Prime numbers can be divided only by themselves in 1. So remember, negative numbers are not prime, 0 is not prime, and 1 is not prime. The smallest prime number is 2. And from there, we would go to 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and 19. You really want to be familiar with the prime numbers to about 19 in order to make sure that you don't miss any. Consecutive numbers just means in a row. But you've got to remember to go from least to greatest. So consecutive positive numbers would be 2, 3, 4, or as consecutive negative numbers would be negative 4, negative 3, negative 2. Sum means addition or add. Difference means subtraction or, or subtract. <laughs> Product means multiply. Inclusive means count. So if we're talking about the set 3 through 6 inclusive, it would count the terms 3, 4, and five, three, four 5, and 6. Multiple, you want to think multiply. Multiples of 3 is 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. And they would go on forever. Factors and divisible go hand in hand. Factors are numbers that go, could divide evenly into a larger number. So if I want to do the factors of 20, I would say what numbers can go into 20 evenly. So that would include 1, 2, 5, 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. Divisible is just kind of flipping it around. 20 is divisible by 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. Or if we're talking about 30, 30 would be divisible by 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, and 30. So factors and divisible are very similar. Remainder is the whole number that's left over after you divide. It is not the decimal you'll see in your calculator. So if you do 10 divided by 8 on your calculator, you're going to get 1.25. And as a result, you're going to have a remainder. But that remainder is not 0.25. The remainder is going to be what's left over. So what we would do is we would take the 1 and multiply by 8. That tells us that we got to 8. What's left over? 2. Now that 0.25 decimal, it does represent your remainder in the form of a quarter, or 0.25, of 8 is what we need to get to our remainder of 2. So you could also find the remainder by multiplying 0.25 times 8. But remember, when you type in a uh, division problem on your calculator, the decimal itself isn't your remainder. You have to go and do one more step to get the remainder. Mean, median, and mode. Mean means average or the total of a series of numbers divided by how many there are. Median means middle, which is after you've arranged the numbers least to greatest, which one's in the middle. So in the set 3, 4, 5, 10, and 11, the median is 5 because there's two numbers on its left and two numbers on its right. Mode means most often, so it has to be the number that shows up the most. So in this set of 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 5, 6, the mode would be 3 because there's more 3's than every other number. Domain and range. Domain is the inputs of a function or the x values that can go into it. Range is the output of a function or the y values that come out of it. Odd and even functions. Odd functions refers to a function that can be rotated 180 degrees. So if you draw a function, flip the paper 180 degrees, it should look the same. Odd functions include functions that have an odd uh, power, x to the first, x to the third, x to the fifth, and x to the seventh. And also, uh, you can use the equation negative f of x equals f of negative x for an odd function. Even functions, you want to think reflection. Even functions are, look the same on each side of the y-axis, which means they can be reflected across that. Even functions are even-powered functions, like x squared, x to the fourth, and x to the sixth. Linear function just means that it has a constant slope. And the term collinear means that the points lie on the same line. So knowing these terms is an important part of succeeding in the math. 
So hopefully if you uh, see a term now, you'll know how to use it correctly and get the problem right. Hope to see you soon.